Hi, sweetie. No cuddling. Get off. Stop touching me. <laughs> We're not starting this it's again. It's been a long time. I know, but I'm, I'm sorry I broke your heart. <laughs> yeah, but I found someone else now. I'm attached. Jimmy, 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 why are you in a 580 and why are you finally wearing chrome overalls? Change of job, change of an uh, employer. You've changed, you've left Wilson's? I've left Wilson's, I'm now Crone UK. Is there any reason why you left in particular or? No. Fancy the change? New, new, cha new challenge, bit of a change. Well, what are we doing now? We've got this, whatever this is, what is this? That is TX460. A TX460. Now, can you, in your Crown UK wisdom, tell me anything about that TX460? <laughs> Looks nice. Yeah. Big. Big. <laughs> Holds a good load of grass. Yeah. 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 Takes filling. Yeah. yeah. What type of steering's on it? Not a clue. Well, see, there's BPW axles on it, which is a good sign. Is right. it positive steer? He's asking me stuff I really don't know. <laughs> but I thought you worked the Crown UK. <laughs> I've only been there a short time. Oh, right, right, oh, yeah, right, yeah. right, right. You're not in there a long time. Well, that's what happened to you and me. It was only well, a short time. Well, it was time. only short. <laughs> <laughs> is this cab bigger than the 700? Or no. am I smaller? You're smaller. <laughs> Noticeably smaller. <laughs> So what are we in? This is Crohn's 580. This is the 580. Right, and this is your expertise foraging. So what are you doing here? This was a dealer open day, Shire Agri Hire. Um, they came in and did a, a working demonstration. So Shire Agri Hire, uh, <laughs> Shire Agri, Shire. I manage it, come on. Shire Agri Hire. They're Crone so dealers yeah. and also Valdra dealers. Yes. Back to this 580. So Crone come in, they come in with the big ones. They started with the V8s and the V12s. Then they went to the, the, the much, much improved 700, 850, yeah. 1100, which we got you video on flat out at Wilson's. Now they've decided that they want a, a piece of the smaller horsepower market. Yeah. So, in their attempt to break into that market, they've created these two choppers, the 480 and the 580. Yeah. And this is, this the, is 580. This the 580. So, what can you tell me about this? What engine do you know? I mean, it's, is, it's a Mercedes it's a, engine? It's an MTU engine. Is a, an MTU engine not a Mercedes engine? Um, no, I don't know. Uh, it's an MTU engine. <laughs> It's an MTU engine. MTU engine means it's partly Mercedes. Mercedes. <laughs> it's partly Daimler. And I think there's a smaller Mercedes badge in the top of it. No, but it is. It's, it's an MTU, straight six. Um, smaller horsepower, narrower bodied forager. Narrower forager overall. And 580 watt horsepower. Uh, 580 is actually 550, so not quite what it says on the uh, on the side. Just there's an 850. The farmer's own 850 is running in this field, and what I think he's maybe going to come down and join us, and it'll be very nice to see. I mean, 850 stroke 870 has been classed as benchmark yeah. harvester. I think we're all we all agree on that. 850 is what. 450 odd horsepower. Yeah. I'm not sure that that one's standard, so to be no. fair, um, we maybe have to compensate for that, that they actually could be similar on horsepower. I think from what, yeah, I, I, yeah, I believe it should be similar on horsepower. I think they're similar on horsepower. We're looking at Crohn's new feed system versus that. Now, bear in mind also, this harvester is only how many hours? got 58 hours on it. 58 hours on it, so it's still very tight, still very fresh. Much what I would expect, the two of them's running fairly, fairly nice. Very big awkward rows, very small looking trailer. <laughs> that well, it does, it does look small, that one, yeah. <laughs> All joking aside, Jimmy, there's not a lot between those two choppers. Uh, there's not a massive amount. We could, uh, we could push on a bit more, but 
Uh, well, you're pulling it well down there. I mean, you say we could push on a wee bit more. I think that's a crone answer because she was at 1580, as you said that. Yeah, but there's a bit more left after that, isn't there? So here we go, genuinely right. We're right side to side, 850. I'm surprised he's keeping the grass going into that wee chopper. He's not stalling, he's not yeah. blogging, which is not normal. No, but then he was rolled up with a crone rake, so it'll be a good row. Uh, what was the crone rake? A swad row? Yeah, a swad row, 1400 plus. Well now I will say, granted this chopper is brand spanking new, she's only out of the box, she's going to be tight, she's not going to be given all, all the power. The 850 actually works that lump, the 850 has an edge on you in this room. That'll be a lump then. Metal detection, is that the metal detection? Yeah. I had one of those earlier myself. So you're egging about 550 horsepower. Yeah. What's the 480? Have you had a drive in a 480? I haven't, no. And, and the, the 480 is not 480 either. I think the 480 is more like 450, isn't it? Yeah, so a 480 really and truly would be the same as an 870, only that 870 we know yeah. is on steroids. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the class has done what the class always does. She's blocked. You've blocked once. He's blocked once. This race is really heating up. It's, like <laughs> it's just not as exciting as the 1100 versus the 1100. You're getting somewhat overexcited here, aren't you? <laughs> the green horse and the green horse had a race. Have you any idea, let's price one of these bad, bad girls. I don't. Rumour was going about that, you know, we're talking 30 grand less and only 30 grand less than a 700. In my opinion, as it stands, at 30 grand less it would be very hard to justify this chopper yeah. over a 700. Are you liking driving it? You know, you're, you've been used on a 700. I've been quite impressed really. Surprisingly smooth. It seems to hang on, it seems to go well, considering it is a lot narrower than a 700. You know, the, the back of the factory, they've done the maths and they reckon this sort of horsepower you know, it just wouldn't work with a big wide room. Jamie, the time has come. Are you leaving? You're going to have to give me a drive on it. I've never had a drive that on it. That sounds like a cracking idea. Right, where's Eco Power? That'll kill you. <laughs> Is there such a thing? <laughs> right, Jamie, talk me through. So, I have driven a chopper, yes, <laughs> once or twice in my life. What's happened? <laughs> give me that phone, give me that phone. Ah, come on! Give me that! Ah, give me that! <laughs> <laughs> give me that! Let me see you! No. Oh, you must! No. Um, for the camera, what his phone just had was a picture of a crone rake. Yeah, with it the wasn't a crone rake. With the wheels on the ground. 
and the rest of it in the air. Mmm. Right, how do we drive this? I'm not telling you. Where's the fat position? You need a trailer. Oh, why? That's the first part of the job. What position do you work with this in? <laughs> There's one, two, three, four. Usually two in the field for two me. Two from the bottom? Yeah. And what's the benefit to that? It just slows the response time down on the transmission. So you know you're not going to rip the sword up if it's just a bit the, sticky, which it is. The class 850 is a is a stick forward, stick yeah. back. This is what they call center drive. This yeah. is like a fence, so I need to paddle this in the yeah. back. Paddle out on the back. So if I paddle that in the up, back, forward or reverse, and then I just that's how I speed up. Your number one to four. If you are in four now, that'll go in slightly bigger steps. And then I just do that to change yeah. direction. Yeah, paddle and tap into this actually. I know, direction. that's hard to get used to when you're not used to that. And tap into this direction without the paddle and it'll stop. Now what's all this here nonsense? That's just for getting you around the screen. It's a, it's a touch, completely touch screen, but if you don't feel like touching the screen. Now can you explain anything about this screen? I mean, I'm not being, is this is this the same screen now when it's 700 or is it all changed? Um, or? No, it's, no, I don't think it's the same screen. I think the similar, similar size you can get in the 700, but no, the layout's different on these 485 80. All them boxes across the bottom, you can set them up to whatever you want to look at. And the sharpening it easy? The sharpening's basically the same as it was in the 700. You've still got to do it outside, but it's still a tried and tested method and it works. So why would you want to change it? Because it's easier if you can do it inside and you don't have to get out, in case it's raining. It only rains in Ireland. And Southwest Scotland. You really are turning into a crow, man. <laughs> you know, it used to be you would have said, you know what, they're all right, but they have their faults now. It's just, oh, they're awesome. Oh, they're brilliant. Oh, they're great. But I must say, it's a good big roomy cab. Lights, everything's fairly well. Yeah. Where's the radio? Uh, dealer fit. It's not in yet? No. So once we're in the mode, just go back me onto this here, this is down. Yeah, manual up, manual down, or auto up and auto down. Auto up. You're running pressure down, so it's set up on the screen, yeah. So when you I go down, how do, where does she show light. my pressure? Your pressure's down that side, 25%. This one here? Yeah. And is that, is that fine, is that good? Is yeah, that... that's for where we are. If it's a little bit softer, you might want it a little bit lighter just so it doesn't dig in, but... Auto, we're up manually. Auto, yeah, that'll rev her up. Are you nervous? Should I be? <laughs> well, I've never driven a chrome before. No, oh, you'll be fine. I'll just feed her in bit easy because the cameras are here. And there's nothing they would love more. Catching out the big man. Funnily enough, there's nothing I'd like more. Shove that stick up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find, um, can you adjust the metal protection, the sensing? Or? Yeah, sensitivity is adjustable. Same with the rock protect, sensitivity is adjustable. Well, like where I'm running that chopper now, I'm glancing over, she's between 18 and 70, she's coming down 17, 16. Yeah. You know, is that and that sort of lumpy that, sword? That, has, that hasn't dropped below 18 yet. So you're, you're, what you're basically saying is I'm not pushing it enough. Well, it'll go a bit more than that. It'll be a bit more, but for a man that's learning them. Of... No, that's fine. Stick to getting in the trailer. To be honest with you, this is a very sweet run and harvesting. It is, it's very smooth. And we've been crowing fans now for a few years. We've enjoyed watching them come along. And crowing, as far as I'm concerned, I think even Grassman are concerned, they've, they've, got the, they've got the high horse part. Um, I don't think anybody can take that away from them. No. The, 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 the big 1100, the challenge I see for Crone is trying to come into this market and get this market nailed. Yeah, but we've made a good start. We've a few out this year. Do you not think that they tried to rush it? I don't know. You know, last year they were pre-production. But then equally, I think John Deere waited so long. Well, maybe, maybe you've got the two extremes there. Maybe ours came out. A tad early, but John Deere seems to take an awful, probably awful long time.
now you're chewing. What main area do you cover? Um, UK really. Well, based over near York, then we go wherever. I was in Wales last week, Scotland this week. Might have a look at England next week. I see you everywhere. Yeah. It's a good bulk of grass in that. There's a lot of grass in there. Do you think earlier on it was just stuffed too much when it blocked with you? Or do you think the clutches maybe need to look that modification? I think it, well, it certainly does now because I think I've cooked it. There will be different tweaks, there will be, you know, grown have never stood still. If there's something not right, they'll, they'll sort it. Do you use, a, is there like a cruise control on these harvesters? Or yeah. Would you use there is. that much? Or? I don't use it in grass, or I never, I very rarely use it in grass. I usually drive it to the, to the engine and then that's all you need. What could you use it then? Maze? Yeah. Use it in maze, whole crop sometimes. Whole crop you can't necessarily always go as fast as the machine could go. You find where you need to be and you just send your cruise at that and then that's you sorted. Look at that, a bit of blue power. Oh, don't start. Get you in and drive one of those Valkers. Do you see? I'm telling you, twice the driving track, right? Who the hell is, but you can get Valker in any colour. <laughs> ah. Why would you want to? Perfectly good blue there. Do you like New Holland? Tell the truth. They maybe lost the way a little bit, haven't they? Well, I have to say, I like the harvester. Oh, no, we're going to keep that bit in. She's running. She's that is Mr. John Deere. Mr. John Deere is saying he likes the 580. If I would go and force myself to drive a Fenton, I'd get used to all this. I mean, I was down in number one there and it was taking forever to get going and I got it flicked up. There's just wee things I'm not used to. And I think that's us. If you knock your revs off and then knock your cylinder out. Wheels in. Wheels in. Job's a good one. Yeah.